Hello, welcome and thank you for joining cruisers to our popular Cruise Hive news updates. We have a treat for you all today as we continue our week with five new stories as Carnival Cruise Line defends essential item. Grow start to Royal Caribbean sailing, port removed from Norwegian Cruise Line cruises, Carnival's first solar eclipse cruise to set sail and a huge story on the Disney Adventure cruise ship. So join us as we delve fully into all these updates, brought to you directly from cruisehive.com. Disney Cruise Line has unveiled Disney Imagination Garden, a unique entertainment hub on board Disney Adventure, which will debut in 2025. This whimsical garden-themed zone designed to resemble a pop-up storybook with paper cutout features will span three-deck high castle artwork, a performance stage, an amphitheatre-style venue with seating on a large staircase leading to a garden courtyard and bar with a topiary or sorcerer's apprentice Mickey Mouse standing with a wand in hand. A new category of garden view cabins will be present and will include dining venues inspired by the Jungle Book and Moana. The 208,000 ton ship under construction at the May of F shipyard in Germany will accommodate 6,700 guests and sail from Singapore's Marina Bay Cruise Centre. Carnival Cruise Line is launching its first ever solar eclipse cruise aboard the Carnival Legend. This 11-night journey will depart from Dover in the UK on August the 9th, 2026, visiting ports in Spain, Portugal and France. The highlight is on August the 12th of that year when passengers can witness a total solar eclipse during a sea day as the ship navigates through the path of totality. The Carnival Legend, a spirit class ship, will remain in Europe throughout the summer, offering a variety of northern European itineraries before moving to the Mediterranean later in the season, followed by a transatlantic return to Tampa in November 2026. Carnival Cruise Line is facing criticism over the rising cost of bottled water on board its ships. As of August, passengers can pre-order a 12-pack of bottled water for $17.64 or $1.47 per bottle, a price that has increased four times in two years, up from $4.95 originally. Brand ambassador John Heal defended the pricing, citing industry comparisons and inflation. He also reminded guests that free water is available throughout the ships. Since 2015, passengers have been restricted from bringing their own plastic water bottles on board. Norwegian Cruise Line has notified passengers that the port of Kralendich in Bonaire has been removed from the Norwegian Viva's itineraries for the February 16th and February 23rd 2025 sailings. While no replacement port is added, the ship will extend its time in other destinations. For instance, the stop in Punta Cana in Dominican Republic is now from 7am to 3pm, and a Rinja start in Aruba will be from 11am to 9pm. The visit to St Lucia has been expanded at 10 hours from 7am to 5pm, with other stops in Curaçao and St Kitts also extended. Pre-book Bonaire show excursions will be refunded automatically. Passengers boarding Royal Caribbean's Voyager of the Seas in Athens in Greece encountered a significant plumbing issue. The problem left the nearly 25-year-old ship without running water, affecting public restrooms and all 1,708 staterooms on August the 19th. Guests were unable to use toilets or wash their hands and drink stations only dispensed syrup. Although the issue was resolved later that day, the lack of communication from the crew frustrated passengers. Despite this setback, the ship departed a schedule for its seven-day cruise to Istanbul, Kushadasi, Santorini and Mykonos. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and all the news you require is over on cruisehive.com. Now, if anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and please subscribing to our channel. I hope you have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.